good looking boat again just so much so much open space plenty of room for people you've got a wall of cabinets and storage very spacious boat i mean you could definitely easily live aboard this boat what's up guys today i've got a tour of a 2019 nautitech 542 for y'all it's a big comfortable and capable cruiser for a family and or for charter I hope you enjoy the tour, and as always, if you are enjoying these tours, please take a second to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. It's the single best way to help support this channel and to keep getting the content you enjoy. So thank you in advance, and without further ado, let's get to the tour. All right, guys, so I just stepped aboard. It's a little windy today, a little bit choppy in the channel here right now, so I apologize for that. But looking forward, we're going to go forward first on this catamaran. Let me quickly take a look at the stern here. We're going to come back to all of this and go into it in detail pretty soon. But we've got a lot going on back here. Outboard helms. Nice big cockpit back here. Let's go forward. Now moving forward, really wide side deck, so that's gonna be nice and safe. We've got handholds going all the way forward, so that's nice. And then in order to get up to the coach roof, we've got a nice little staircase right here. So no handholds going up that. I would you know, probably like to see maybe a bar or something right there, but that would be tough with the boom being able to swing back and forth. So I don't really know how you'd, you'd go about fixing that. But this is a much better way to get up to the coach roof than I've seen in a lot of catamarans, so very nice. And then you've got some solar panel, some flexible solar up there on the coach roof. And then I'm sure you guys saw there was rigid solar on the aft section of the boat. Now, that is a really, really big main right there, looking up the rig. You've got your radar up there as well as satellite internet. Looking forward even more steps to get up to that coach roof. So lots of ways up there to be able to, to work on the mainsail right there. That'd be a daunting task with how big that thing is. Continuing forward. Huge, huge boat. I mean, for a 47 foot catamaran, this boat has a ton of beam and a ton of deck space. Look at this. Just so much space for activities out here. You can host massive parties, whatever, or just have a ton of space to live aboard. Big trampolines. There is a little bit of a step down to those trampolines right there, but that gives you kind of a place you can sit comfortably. Dolphin seats up here on the front. Stepping on the trampoline. We've got a single head sail roller furling and it is also self tacking for ease of handling. And then a bow sprit off the front so you can fly another head sail. You know, your code zeros, your code Ds, anchor right here on the bow, chain going all the way aft to forward of the mast right there. And looking aft. Good looking boat again, just so much, so much open space. It does look like we've got a couple bow lockers here, so let's go ahead and take a look. A really, really big bow locker up here and a ladder going down. I mean, that's a ton, ton of space and it looks like it's actually accessible from down below, which is, which is really awesome. Let's go ahead and head on over to the other bow. This trampoline is really springy. I like to see that. It's like a true trampoline. You can get some air on this thing. So for the port bow locker, more of the same story. Lots of storage and also accessible from down below deck, which is, again, that's going to be awesome. All right. Continuing aft, we've got a few lockers up here. So this looks to be kind of a technical room. Super clean. Nice and cleanly kept. So you've got access to systems and equipment down here so that's really nice right there and then right here access to your windlass 
And then the starboard side, bridge deck locker. Tons of storage down here. We got a spare anchor. This seems to be mainly just a storage locker. And then your chain locker is accessible through here. And you also have your windlass control. So this one's mainly storage. Lots of storage in the bridge deck here. So very nice four deck. I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at the rig here. So all the lines to control the sailboat are gonna be led back to the cockpit on this boat. Main is sheeted to the top of the coach roof right there, so it's nice and out of the way. Again, little solar up here, and then, you know, there's your big rig right there, and there's a little step. So you do have some lines that terminate here and use this, this big winch, so not all the lines go aft. So it looks like you will have to come forward for your Jenniker halyard, your Spinnaker halyard, and the topping lift. But other than that, everything else should go aft. All right guys, let's continue, let's continue aft. And walking aft, you feel, you know, there's just so much space on these side decks. Hatches are flush, so nothing to trip over. Really nice. Handhold going aft. And then we're back to the helm stations and the cockpit. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the port side helm station. You got engine controls here, instruments, tachometers. This does look like it is possibly the main helm station, but everything does look repeated on the other side as well. Engines are gonna be back here. And then you do have this, this little canopy with also some vinyl that can go around it to give you even more protection from the elements. So you've got this little you know, kind of tent area that you can set up. We're gonna go ahead and go ahead and go down below. This room's multiple purposes. You've got access to your steering, autopilot back here, water maker, different systems, and then then looking forward is your port side engine. So I just want to say good access all around and as you guys can see, you know, I'm fully down in this engine room and there's there's lots of space down here. And it's going to be the same on both sides, which is really nice. This is much better than having to go below a bed or something to access your engine. You know, everything's kind of in its own little place back here, which is really cool. All right, we're going to go ahead and pop our heads out. That looks like it could be an emergency tiller location right there, which is nice. And then you've got a big swim platform off the back, off the sugar scoop back here. Then off the transom right here, you've got all your safety equipment. So, you know, your throwable device, your life raft. You've got more rigid solar, dinghy davits, dinghy down below that. Those look like they're very robust and stable. And then I like this right here. You've got storage for your extra jerry cans right here. And as you can see, this was definitely a cruiser. They've got lots of extra diesel. And you got even more storage right here that's not being utilized. So I kind of like that. It fits those jerry cans right there perfectly. Then you guys can see right here controls for your your main sheet, which is sheeted to the aft section of the coach roof right there. Continuing into the cockpit, a couple of winches for your Genoa, for your head sail. So everything is back here so you can control the boat from the safety of the cockpit. And we're gonna take a look at this home station. It's got everything you need, just a little less over here. So you've got your instruments and your engine controls, your winch controls, just a little bit less. The tachometers aren't here for the engines. And then looking aft onto the sugar scoop, nice swim platform again, emergency tiller, and then engine access, which I'll show you right now. So down in the starboard section, it's mirrored Similar idea, except this one has the generator sitting right there. So just a little less space, but still a good amount of space. There's your engine right there, then your generator, and then and then your steering. Whew. Warm out today. I've gotten used to Nova Scotia. Florida's hot. All right, guys. And then finally, we've come to the cockpit. And it is just a very clean, big, open cockpit with plenty of room for people and for activities. And there's storage down below 
every one of these settees. Let's go ahead and tear some of these apart and take a look. Storage. Storage. And I like that you don't really have to take the cushion out of place if you just want to get in there quickly. But you can take it if you want, if you want better access. And then right here behind the table, there's still a little bit of storage, but there's also, you know, an area for equipment down there. Storage! And then back here, more storage. So plenty of exterior storage, both fore and aft and engine access. This is certainly a big boat and you get that with a well-designed boat of this size. Now, looking forward, let's go ahead and go into the main salon. All right, guys, entering the main salon from the cockpit, you've got this big door right here. So you really just, you know, walk right in. Single level living, which is really awesome. And then now you're in this massive, massive main salon with a U-shaped galley to starboard right there, a U-shaped dinette and settee right there, a forward-facing nav station. You guys know I love forward-facing nav stations. And then, a little breakfast nook. Just because, why not? There's enough room for it. Got a little breakfast nook. So, plenty of space to sit. This boat is certainly really good for a big family and or for guests and or for a charter. So let's go ahead, take a look at the galley first while we're here. So looking at the galley, you've got a really nice modern setup here, nice U-shaped galley. Looks like there is a front opening fridge right here, a double sink, a big propane stove, an oven, and a microwave up there. Plenty of storage. Is this what I think it is? It is area for spices, for tall things. That's pretty cool. You know, I like having that right there. It's kind of like a little desk area slash, you know, just a informal eating area, relaxing area. And then back here, just more counter space really and more storage up there. Looking forward, you've got a nice big forward facing nav station. You can see the sails through these hatches in the coach roof and you can also see them through the angled window right there. And as you guys can see, the windows have shades on them but you can, you can still see through those shades. So. Those shades are just helping to cool down the cabin in here, helping to reduce the greenhouse effect in the tropical Florida sun. So that's pretty nice. The air conditioning is not even on in here right now and it's, it's not too bad. So main distribution panel over here, kind of hidden, but still accessible. Looks good. And yeah, you got everything you need right here to, to navigate. You got your autopilot controls and your charter plotter and you can spend most of your watches right here once your sails are trimmed. And then a nice big U-shaped settee main salon table here. I mean, you could probably sit 10 people at this table. It's really big. And that also converts into a nice big bed as well. So yeah, really nice. I just wanted to film myself in here so you guys can get an idea of scale. I mean, I'm just freely walking around this very spacious boat. I mean, you could definitely easily live aboard this boat. All right, we're gonna go down into the port side hull right there. This is a owner's version boat, so that port hull is pretty nice. Wow. This is a beautiful owner's cabin right here. So you've got your big double island berth back here. All the walls are like this suede material. See, definitely makes everything feel kind of luxurious back here, but I'm not really sure about how long that'll last. That's my only concern, but extremely comfortable, really nice island berth. You do have a shelf right here and some storage right there and a TV. And then looking forward, you've got a wall of cabinets and storage. So you think there's enough clothes storage? Really, really nice built-in desk right here. It's 
for someone who works from home, if they want to call the boat their home, this would be a great place to work right here. And you even got desk storage. It's beautiful. That place to sit. Tons of storage. How many times can I say storage? Another big cabinet right here going forward. And there's those steps I just came down. Continuing forward, the head area is right here. So you've got a head and sink area. Boom. Very nice. Then continuing forward, there's a big door, big thick door actually. More storage in the wall here. More storage in this wall right here. And then a double sink on the port side here. So this is gonna be your changing, your bathing area. And then in the very forward section, a massive separate shower. You are certainly not giving up any luxuries of living ashore when you have this boat. Look at this, the shades are drawn, but continuing forward into the shower. Pull this open. Look at that. You've got access to the bow locker that we saw from the deck, which is just absolutely awesome. Go and aft, and we're going to go back over. Go back over the bridge deck. That is an amazing, amazing owner's cabin. Very, very comfortable. And then we're going down into the guest cabin, and we're going to go aft first. Again, keeping with the theme of just storage everywhere. This is a double cabin, but it's got two single, two single bunks. So this is great for, for kids. I mean, this would be our kids room if this were our boat, 100%. They can store all their clothes right here and their toys. And then looking aft, there is a head with a separate shower for this aft cabin right here. Very, very nice. And you know, a curved door, which is kind of cool. So this aft section of the starboard hull gets its own head. And then going forward, you've got more, more cold storage, kind of hidden away, fridge and freezer back here. I was actually kind of wondering where those were, and now I see. Got a nice little accent wall. There's a another big cabin up here. So we've got a big bridge deck island berth with, you know, shades are drawn, but lots of natural light and ventilation as well. Really awesome. And then if you open this up, it's being used as storage right now, but this look familiar? We were up there a little earlier, so that's really nice to see. You can get at whatever you're storing in those bow lockers from two different ways, from above or down below. More closed storage for this forward cabin up here, and then, boom. There is another head with a separate shower up here. So we've got three cabins, three heads with all with separate showers. So you're not sacrificing any comfort aboard this vessel. All right, guys, it's time for the full continuous below decks walkthrough from bow to stern. And I am starting in the starboard forward cabin.
So that concludes the tour of this 2019 Nautitech 542. It's an awesome boat for cruising in complete comfort for a family and or for chartering. She's for sale, so I wanted to thank Just Catamarans for letting me film this tour. The current asking price and broker contact information will be in the description below, as with all of our videos. That's going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed it, leave a like, a comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell if you want to know each and every time we drop a video. See you guys. I've got it right and I got it